This is the Alchemy Kitchen, and today we're going to be preserving more mushrooms. In my last video, I showed you how to dehydrate them in the oven, which is an excellent way to save them. As you might have noticed, I've, it's mushroom season here, and it's a really good year. So we've gotten tons of mushrooms, which I'm still got batches going in the oven since a few days now. Um, these are porcini mushrooms, or uh, Boletus edulis. They're uh, really, really good mushrooms. For this recipe, we're going to pickle them. And I mean, there's going to be a lot of methods of how to do this. I'm going to give this one a try. It's kind of a new trial for me. Kind of gathered some different methods and making my own here. We'll see how it turns out. But let's go over what you're going to need. You can use any types of mushrooms. You can use champignons, whatever. But of course, if you can go pick your fresh wild mushrooms, that's even better. So I've got these cleaned. It's about a half a pound. Um, 225 grams, more or less. And I've got some herbs here, some fresh thyme, some sage, a few cloves of garlic, and a, about a teaspoon or so, a half teaspoon of uh, black peppercorns. And you're going to want like a spoon of sugar, so I just took one sugar cube. Um, olive oil, salt, and some red, I'm going to use red wine vinegar, you can use white vinegar as well. And also a half cup of white wine. So. Uh, First, what I'm going to do is, in a pot, turn on the heat, and I'm going to throw in a half cup of wine. And about the same amount of red vinegar. Alright, while that's heating up, I'm going to go ahead and add in my garlic. I'm going to just give it a quick smash first. salt, about a half teaspoon of salt, or sugar and half salt, and I'm going to go ahead and throw all this stuff in, I got like some thyme, some sage, a little bit of oregano, you know, you can put dill, you can put whatever you want for herbs, and peppercorns. <clears throat> Alright, I'm going to bring that to a boil. Meanwhile, I'm going to cut up these mushrooms into about quarter-inch slices or so. And you've probably heard me say this before. With mushrooms, you don't really want to wash them in water. It's going to make... They, they'll absorb water and they don't come out good. So... What I do is I just cut off the parts where there's a lot of dirt. Scrape some with a knife. Another trick that works good is get a piece of a napkin or paper towel dam and you can wipe off a lot of the dirt that's stuck on it. Uh, one last thing you're going to need is a sterilized jar. Um, I'm just reusing a pickle jar here and I just washed it with soapy water and while it's still kind of wet I stuck it in the microwave for one minute on high. For the lid I just boiled a bit of water in a pan and put the lid in there and just use some sterilized tongs to take it out. Because I mean, the method I'm going to do is after I prepare these and I jar them, I'm going to cover them in olive oil, which should stay good for at least a year or two. I don't think they'll last that long, but depends how good they turn out. I've um, got a lot of mushrooms to work with and probably go pick some more this weekend because um, last year was terrible for mushrooms. It was a really dry year. This year was like the best I've ever seen in my four or five years I've been foraging for mushrooms. And I mean last year I was really craving to have mushrooms so I'm glad I've got so many now that I, I'm going to have I've got tons preserved. I mean, I've got several bags already dehydrated. And I won't have to buy mushrooms from the store for a very long time. As it starts to boil, I'm just going to whisk it up a little bit, stir it up. And 
now that that's almost boiling, I'm gonna next just throw these in there for about three minutes, reduce the heat, and then let it cool off. And like I said, you're gonna see a lot of options on how people do this, um, a lot of variations. You can just uh, put the whole thing in a jar after you're done, after it cools. Or like what I'm gonna do is probably strain it out and put everything in the jar except the fluid and then fill it with olive oil. Or you could do both, I suppose. Um, planning to do a few batches of these and experiment with it, see what comes out best. And I mean, like I said, dehydrating is an excellent method as well to preserve your mushrooms. You can check that video out. I'll put the link down below. Um, and finally, another method is to freeze them. Um, some mushrooms don't freeze as well as others, but um, you can just throw them right in the freezer or blanch them in hot water. What I've done before is put them over a steamer for a few minutes and then put them in the freezer. But at this point, I have no more room left in my freezer to put more mushrooms. My fridge is packed with mushrooms at the moment, the ones I'm still cleaning. And I just caught a 15 and a half pound carp yesterday that's in my fridge, so my fridge is pretty full. I've got a lot of work to do today to clean that as well. All right, now this has come to a boil, so go ahead and throw the mushrooms in. And I'm gonna set a timer for about three minutes. Three minutes are up, stirring it occasionally. I'm gonna turn off the heat now. Just remove it from the heat. Now I'm just gonna let this cool a little bit. I'm gonna strain out the fluid and throw it in that jar. It's still hot, but I'm not gonna be using bare hands for this. Just drain these off. Get ready to char it. Mm. That's pretty good, I have to say already. So there we have it. And finally, I'm just gonna fill it so it's covered with olive oil. I put the lid on. Now it's going to go in the fridge to cool down and we'll come back in maybe an hour or so and give these a try. But there we have it. Um, I, did, I could have put a bit more olive oil in I guess but I'm going to be eating some of these right away so they'll still be covered. Alright now that these pickled mushrooms had a chance to kind of sit in the fridge for a few days and get all the flavors in. It's time to try them out. I did already try them. They came out really good. But these are the ones I did in the video. That's the porcini in a red wine vinegar. And these are a mix of the witch's bullets, birch bullets, and a few of these little purple ones called amethyst deceivers. And I used a white vinegar in this one. Um, both of them, though, after I cooked it in the vinegar, I drained it and put this in olive oil. The olive oil flavor was a bit strong, maybe, so this one I did in vegetable oil. Um, you could keep them in the vinegar, but it's going to be really strong then. Uh, I prefer to taste the mushroom. I don't want it to taste just like an ordinary pickle. But the red vinegar, yeah, it came out a bit sweeter. Mm, really good though. The white vinegar has more of that classic kind of pickle flavor, but not overpowering. Mm. If I had to pick which one I like better, I don't think I can. <laughs> They're both really good. This is, um, you know, I'm just serving this up with some camembert cheese, some beard queza, some kalamata olives, and a little bit of uh, wild boar salami. Excellent just snack appetizer. I've got some wild boar shoulder in the slow cooker. That's going to take 
several hours. So this will tide me over till that's ready. Thanks for watching.